Hello. How you doing? Good. I'm that's great. Will you please tell the world your name? My name is Matthew Delhom. My nickname is Matty. Okay. My name is Kaya Grant. My name is Rose Botworth. Hi, my name is Amaya Guzman. John Pierce Smith Jr. Hello, my name is Jelani Gomez. Hi, my name is Isaiah. Hey everyone, um, my name is Camilla. At first, when I was introduced to it, I was 14, I'm 15 now. And at my age, I couldn't get like a job. So like this was like a one chance opportunity for that my age. And then a few days after I thought about it, I was like, maybe this could be good. Maybe I could, this could be like a start for my voice to rise. Um, I was interested because we could, um, or people um, in my age could start making change like Black Lives Matter or like Hispanic lives, Asian lives anybody's lives, Muslim lives too, we could all make a change while we're teenagers, or even little kids. I initially wanted to participate in MCC because I did a social justice internship with City Mission over the summer, um, and I learned a ton and had a really good time. Um, and I think it's just really important to have this dialogue where we're talking about social justice things because I think it's a space where you can talk about um, burnout and deal with burnout in a way that's healthy um, while still learning things. And it is really a learning experience to hear different perspectives and um, how different people are processing different issues. And I just think it's, it's really important and I really, really love this program. I was interested in this program because MCC was a paid opportunity that offered me a safe space to learn about the different roots of different social justice issues that not only I was passionate about, but others around me were passionate about. Um, but it also offered me work experience with a nonprofit organization, which I've never had before. Um, and it offered me a chance to network with other young people and other resources in my state who were committed to creating social change. Um, at first, I liked it because it was an opportunity where we could have like an open to, open space to have like open discussions about things going on in the world, with, from politics to things that happen the day of, or we'll come like the next day and talk about something that happened within the nation or around the whole world. So, yeah. Um, I was interested in participating in MCC, as you know, Making Change Crew, because of the way it was introduced to me, they, the person that came up to me started talking about how you get to introduce your own ideas, your own topics, um, basically your, your experiences and how you feel about stuff that's happening around the world and how it's injustice and how we can do things to change it. At first, I thought it was... Um just an internship offered to me by my mentor, Portia. Um, then I learned it was a lot more, so that kind of had sparked my interest. Um, my time in Making Change Crew, it was pretty good. Um, we talked about how um, I think seven Asian women were shot at Atlanta in a salon, other like problems and stuff and like how is this is this bad is this good like what's your opinion on this like topic like that we talk about and stuff so that's good and yeah it impacted me because i could be a young change maker so like like I said before, people um, that are my age, we could all start to make change together, like as a community. We're all like, I forgot how, what word, um, cool each other, okay? Like we all, all okay, like we don't judge, no shame, blame, or attack. 
and it's just impacting me to want to keep doing it. Um, honestly, every time, every week we come and talk, like it helps me like really think like when I'm doing like my regular day things, like think about like, oh, like this is something I could bring up in the conversations when I come on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like I always go about my days and think about things that I can bring to the conversation because I feel like every day there's always something new in the news or something that I feel like should be discussed. Um, and in terms of how MCC has impacted me, I think it has equipped me with the skills and tools necessary to be an advocate for change and justice in today's society. Um, this program has taught me not only how to take care of myself while creating change, but also how to learn and educate myself on certain topics and even different ways to take action to create social change. So MCC has impacted a lot this has impacted me a lot um i enjoy having this group of like other teens that i'm able to express my opinions about and feel safe and feel like i'm able to be open and not afraid i guess to me very positively um, i met a lot of peers with kind of the same ideologies as me and i got to express them along with um, them kind of better in their growth and my growth as a person I've learned that just because one thing hasn't happened the way you want it to, doesn't mean you shouldn't keep going. I have learned how to speak up more, I would say. Speaking up more is, it was pretty hard for me, but uh, making change crew made me speak up step by step. Cool. And I think I learned and gained experience surrounding um, grant research and writing for nonprofit organizations during my time with MCC. Um, but I have also been able to expand my understanding of being a change maker in general. Because um, not only do we address root causes of social, of social justice issues, um, we were able to use what we learned to talk about today's society and current events. Um, honestly, just talking to different people, I feel like, in like different age groups and like having to like lead certain conversations and like trying to like avoid or like know how to speak on certain topics without offending others, I feel like that's something I definitely learned. Things that I've learned, I think the entire thing is, like I said, it's a learning process. You, you learn just from listening to other people talk um about whatever topic you may be talking about that day um and just understanding how people process what's going on is really important um especially when a lot of these issue issues are sociological um yeah i have learned so many things from mcc because everyone is able to share their opinions and facts and stuff and I'm able to learn from those new topics, new solutions, new like things going on in other communities that I wasn't aware of because I'm not part of those communities. But I really feel like it's so interesting to have these different people come together and express themselves and be able to like state what's happening to them and what's happening to the people around them and so forth. I've learned in MCC is kind of ways to promote like social justice, whether that's to people, person to person, or on social media, or actively in our community. An issue that um, I specifically like more intentions with is like um, the Atlanta situation at that salon where those women got shot. I just was like this is too much like first like black lives matter movement and then other stuff and then this and other countries happening like this is just way too much happening i would say issues like our neighborhoods um issues like what's going on in the united states or even out of the united states like those stuff. um i'll say prison reform and Education, like I said, education is like the step of everything, like learning like why things happen and where race comes from and all these different things I feel like it's important for people to know so that when they get older they can, you know, have like a lot of knowledge and then make their decisions and have their own opinions.
but you need to have the knowledge first. A reason for me is to start participating and starting to make change to this community and to basically the whole world. An important issue to me was one, uh, gentrification along with uh, police reform. I would say yes, gentrification one, um, or just gentrification in general. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new apartments that are going on here in Austin Brighton, and all the stuff that I usually grew up to has all been crashed down, burned down, and starting to make more expensive apartments and more like rich or elegant apartments, I would say. So it's like, and it's expensive too, so it's like hard and stuff. And a lot of, I would say, white people are, or not white people, but rich people, like really rich people are moving. So it's, it's hard, but yeah. Uh, right now, I want to say policing, just because I feel like right now, I feel like what we've been talking about, especially in the NWC, is like having community policing. And I feel like that's something that really needs to be enforced instead of having police just, you know, put in fear in us and just, you know, starting to like create a community and feel like we're actually being protected instead of fear in them. Yes, gentrification is driving a lot of um, the people that used to live here out and it's bringing in a lot of like unwanted people, I would say. I'm very passionate about um, social justice because I feel that it's not Fair. It's not fair to have these group of people not be able to feel safe in their own community, not be able to go outside and feel like they can walk around safely. As a female, going outside in the dark by myself is scary. It's scary and it shouldn't be that way. It should not be that way. That's why I'm very invested in like the situation and stuff because I understand that this these are problems that happen to everybody in different sort of ways i think that it's important to get together to make a change because if we don't how do you expect us to make a change i feel like when we all come together that's when we're most we're most powerful that's when we are we lift ourselves up and become we become as one and we talk as one and we communicate as one and we when we just get together and that power that just comes together i believe that we can make a change it's important to get involved because you can start anything early like at a young age like to continue on once you get older I feel like everyone has a voice, whether they like to speak or not. I feel like everybody's opinion matters. And if we put all our opinions together, we can probably make a lot more difference in our communities. It's important to um, get involved with making change because you can start changing for yourself too. So that's also a good thing. So if you can join, join like a community that would make change, you can make a change for yourself too. Because the youth are the future and without them we cannot strive as people. I think it's very important for youth to have voices because it's 2021 and we're in an era where social media is important, where our voices are important. And even if you feel that you're not making a change, you are, whether it's within your friend group, your family, your community, small changes count, anything counts, which is why I think what we're doing is a great is a great way for us to inform each other and inform others around us of these situations. Um, I feel like youth voice is important because I feel like we're the future and I feel like um, every generation, everything changes. So I feel like as we get older, like we start to see different things and like once we're in our teen years, we're able to have a bigger voice and you know, like I feel like we've learned more as like time has went on, I feel like 
we've seen a lot more in our generation than past generations. Youth voice is important because at a young age, people realize, oh, this situation is also affecting young people. Like they think, oh, if like one person gets like shot in their neighborhood or like they get arrested, it also impacts the younger generation because it could also happen to them too. Youth voice is very important because some youth voices or most youth voices are mostly silent or they're silented so they won't be able to like speak like on their opinion and stuff like that. So since we made this community like people like who are 13, 14, 15 could start to speak out more and use their own voice. I think youth voices are so important, especially because decisions and policies made today will directly affect us as we inherit the future. Um, just in the past years alone, I think we've seen many youth activists um, organizing global campaigns, protests, or initiatives just through social media around causes that they're passionate about and they believe in in order to create social change. Um, I think youth are capable, educated, and creative individuals who really understand the importance of bringing visibility to these issues that they're passionate about by letting their voice be heard. Um, and I think we will continue to challenge the adults in government and other positions of power, other positions of power like surrounding us until we get a say in creating a better society, not only for ourselves, but for future generations. Importance of youth voice. Um, I think that youth voices are extremely important on every, every issue ranging from um, Black Lives Matter to feminism to uh, LGBTQ voices being heard to climate change. Youth voices need to be involved in all of those things because youth are affected by all of those things. Um, and there's a lot of ageism, I think, in social justice work against people under the age of 18 or people even over the age of 18, but not by much, um, because there's kind of a bias against whatever knowledge they may or may not have at that point or whatever wisdom they may or may not have. But the entire point is that we're not going to get anything done unless we listen to everyone. And you can't have everyone speaking if you're not having youth voices being heard. And especially for climate change, since we're the ones who are going to be dealing with these effects for the longest and how, the younger you are, the longer you're going to have to be dealing with them, then you should have a say. And that's true for every other social justice issue out there as well. It's just, there needs to be a space created for everybody's voice to be heard, including youth. Be safe and wash your hands and wear a mask, okay? <laughs> um, right here. What's that say? If you don't live for something, you're gonna die for nothing. That's what I believe. You gotta, you know, live for something, find what you like, and go for it. Beautiful. <laughs> Be yourself, actually. Don't let nobody stop you. You're gay, trans, non binary, whatever. Christian, non Christian, Muslim, Jewish, whatever. Just be you. And that's it.
Chess think Andrea's here? Talking that time. Mm -hmm. Agree with me, like nod your head. Oh my god, I'm always right, ain't I? Yeah, I know. You're right too, though. <laughs> Barely. Barely, sometimes. Is she gonna point at me? I just looked at the camera. That was so awkward. <laughs> like, why are you laughing at me? Yeah, it's crazy. Speakers ah! only. Quit! <laughs> Maddie, it's so dark. <laughs> Alright, ready? We gotta wear actors. We are paid. Okay. Oh, We're getting paid wait, for this, I right? Should, Hold on. Am I getting am I, I getting paid for this? Hold on. It's little feet touch my head. I'm not recording. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. 